So I got home from work today and noticed that my Twitter, Tumblr, and subscription box were all filled with things talking about H3H3 Productions. Clearly I had missed something, so I started looking into it. Turns out H3H3 Productions is a company here on YouTube that, long story short, was being sued by another YouTuber for essentially making a React video to his video. Now I can feel my little sister start to roll her eyes and I can see my aunt's eyes start to glaze over because I've talked about fair use and copyright and things like that with them and they don't really seem to care. They don't see how it affects them really. They just don't really care. But I'm about to give most of my friends and family a very, very good reason why they should care. Weird Al Yankovic. Most of my family knows a lot of Weird Al songs they all have a favorite Weird Al parody, and most of them could sing a CD's worth of Weird Al songs just off the top of their head. However, without properly enforced fair use laws, Weird Al probably wouldn't be the household name today, and most of my family would not have silly songs to sing with each other at family reunions. Because Weird Al makes parodies of songs and parodies of pop culture icons and happenings, which are some of the things covered by fair use. But with the precedent that a lot of companies are setting now with YouTubers and YouTube parodies, without that protection, Weird Al, before he even got his feet wet, would have been sued out of his mind for copyright infringement. I mean, Coolio already had issues with Amish Paradise when it first came out. Can you imagine what he would have done had he had the legal footing to sue? That would mean that a lot of my family's current favorite Weird Al songs wouldn't exist. No Another One Rides a Bus, no The Saga Begins, no Eat It, and definitely no White and Nerdy. But Weird Al is protected under fair use because he makes parodies which are transformative works, which essentially means they add value to an already existing thing. And they add so much value that it completely changes what the original thing was. This is also how one of the internet's favorite things, properly made React videos, is also protected. Other things that are protected by fair use are things like news stories, critiques, educational content, among a bunch of other things. So in other words, stuff that we all use every day. Now I will never claim to be an expert on copyright or fair use, but I have done my homework, and if any of you are curious, I will leave links to videos that I have found particularly helpful down below. I just know that in my experience when this comes up, a lot of people feel like they don't have to care because they don't think it affects them. And I'm not just talking about the older generation, I'm talking about my generation and younger as well. But I want you to think about the fact that we very well could be missing out on the next Weird Al or other great entertainer because that person is holding themselves back because they are absolutely terrified of the current rampant over abuse of the copyright system, especially on YouTube.